So as a practitioner, I think it's very important for us to remember that there is no separation between our practice and our service for the Dharma, our service for others. Uh, if we separate them, then I think it will be very difficult because sometimes I see people say, oh, I'm not a practitioner, but I do services. Other time people will say, I am a practitioner, practitioner, Dharma practitioner, I don't have a time to help, service. And then there are, there are in between, there are people who, who are kind of be, uh, understand and trying to understand and trying to work, that trying to make their practices and services together, but they also sometimes face challenges. So I want to talk a little bit about that. I think uh, I can definitely say my own experiences because I spend so much time always uh, including the making this video here, which is I feel clearly it's service and, and also clearly it's my practice. Because why it's my practice? Because first of all, I need to do be open. I need to do open to do these things. It's not necessarily always you find openness to do things. And, and also the intention from that openness, I'm clearly wishing that this will help other people who like myself and students who are in that situation. So who are practitioner and trying to also serve. So because why practices and services, they're connected together? Because whenever we're trying to serve, it's not easy. Because serving means, like, like for example, I give one example. I tell uh, students who are trying to help their old parents. So when you're trying to go to help old parents, what are you trying to do? You're trying to bring, bring a lot of rules. Or you have to take medicine, you should not drink, you should go to bed, you should not do this, do that. You are make, bringing so much rules and trying to force somebody to do something. And when somebody does not do what you want, you get hurt. Your ego get hurt. You feel um, pain. You get upset. And then you get angry. Then you're trying to, you, you stress out. So when you stress out, you, when you're stressed out, you cannot help old parents to relax. Because stressed out person can not help somebody to relax and you are unhappy unhappy person can try not it's very hard to make somebody happy so so it's very important that when you go through that transition you know okay it's me i'm here to help this person whatever this person needs it i should do it it's not me it's the other person whom I'm trying to help. It's not me, it's this group. I love the teaching, I love this group, I trust in these practices, and I'm trying to help. So now, it's about, it's not about me, it's about the group, it's about the other people. So you are kind of being conscious of your own pain and ego, and you are open and going, able to go beyond that, able to see and connect with people and the collective purpose, and you're acting out from there. That is a practice. That is clearly a practice. Why is it a practice? Because you are able to overcome your pain. You're able to transcend your fear, your ego. You're able to see a collective vision, collective purpose, others need and you are able to act you act from that place and that action is a great practice and great service so that that is a practice and service together so so i think i think it's very very difficult otherwise you know people say it's what is the service of course sometime in the west you know, somebody can say okay i'm doing a service just to help other people and as a service, social service, there are many 
social workers work for others, but this it's a beautiful act, a beautiful purpose, a beautiful purpose of life. But sometimes I think it can lack this wisdom and compassion quality, and particularly it can lack the wisdom quality. It can lack that selflessness quality, and it can lack, lack also that really genuinely be interested in and trying to 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 be conscious of one's own pain and trying to keep oneself lower and keep others higher and others purposes more that consciously making those decisions because that is my wisdom practice that is my self-realization practice that is my ultimate practice because the service has been part of it my ultimate purpose is self-realization and self-realization is so deeply connected with helping others so bringing these things together i think is the bringing together services and practices together so i hope all of you who are practicing dharma i hope you you have so much service you're doing so much services also because it is your practice and people who, who you're doing services i hope your principles of wisdom and compassion it's very much well integrated in your social services with others so that your spiritual practice is also growing through your social services. Thank you.